Robinson's Lawn Care day to day number seven out here. Uh, it's voting day today, you know. Hopefully, everybody voted. And uh, then get to work. <laughs> the hustle and the grind. So, a lot of people get lazy around this time of year. A lot of people don't even want to do any work. Um, a lot of people get unmot unmotivated because their phone ain't ringing. But you got to get your phone to ring it, which means that you have to pass out flyers. And this house here that I just did um, actually was a flyer. I put in the uh, on their house um, probably three weeks ago. And he called me yesterday and wanted me to cut his grass. I said, well, at this time, it's $35, you know. So, as you can see, I'm not here just to be talking. Look at those stripes. So, main thing, like I say, get out there and hustle. Um, like I said, this whole block got flyers. They're probably waiting on their leaves to fall, as you can see. They're just waiting, and they're going to call me money out here but if you're not determined to get it then you might as well give up now and i'm not trying to be negative but this this business can be for those i mean i've seen people that you know uh get up get out and they're happy doing you know uh a couple of yards um still got the same more they had two or three years ago you know which means that evidently they're doing something with their money that they you know they're not trying to build a business this is for those people that are trying to build a business not for the people that are just wanting to cut grass and make some money you can do that all day great but <coughs> um, bless me for those people that are trying to build a business, you know, get to that half a million point and then eventually to a million, have trucks, have crews. Best thing you could do is that you need to make money all year round and you need to put up a lot of that money. Now, I'm like most people, I got a vehicle, insurance. Something goes wrong with this truck, which it did. Had to get the whole front end. Front end did. It's like 570 bucks. Um, equipment. I just had to spend $75. It's just to get the belt. It was a loose boat. And they charged me, you know, 75 bucks, whatever. But you have to put up money because one day you have to be able to have employees. Like, maybe you might have one employee and you can pay him, you know, 1200 a month. Or, you know, whatever the case may be. Then you might say, well, I don't want more money. That means you need another employee. So you need to start saving up. You need to at least, to me, using my thoughts, have a cushion of at least ten to $20,000 put up. Where once you get your employees, you're actually able to pay them. So you're not just trying to... Phone's blowing up. <clears throat> yep. Another job. more money so you want to be able to pay them whether you pay them weekly bi-weekly but you want to have a cushion to where you're bringing in revenue and not just taking the revenue that you're making and giving it out you know you want to have a cushion so again the motivation that I'm giving people about success okay success is taking every opportunity available to you and building off of it stack your money up as much as you can i don't care i mean like me yesterday i made 320 dollars and 
I put up $300 and I start my day with, you got it, that $20 extra. This is how I start my day. I didn't even spend. Usually I go and buy an energy drink, you know, something to snack on. Today I said, you know what? I'm going to cook some breakfast, drink some orange juice. I'm going to be good to go. I still got this 20 bucks. This will most likely go for gas when I need it. But more of the story is you have to put up as much money as you can in this business. And to become that millionaire, you have to be able to, like me, when I look at this truck, I say, well, I'm going to put up $3,000 for this truck. The reason why is because one day, if the engine ever goes, you know, because engines go, whatever, takes a long time, but I figure like, well, what I can do is buy a truck, put about $3,000 up, had that truck for, it could be many years, it could be 20, 30 years. When the engine goes, just put a new engine in it. And it'll be a used engine, but with low miles. So you just switch it out. Keep the body. If the body's good, keep the truck. You don't have to keep going and buying new trucks and paying car notes. That don't make sense. I mean, I got this nice truck for $1,500 with 200 and... What? It was 230,000 miles. So, I'm good. I haven't had to do much work to it. Say the minimum work I had to do all together was probably like 1200 bucks, maybe say 15 max. And that was from everything that I had to do. I got really lucky and I'm really blessed for this truck. Next year, I want to get another truck because next year I'm going to put somebody in this truck, give them all the customers I have now, and I'm going to build a new client base, which I'm trying to or wanting to go and venture into Southfield. So um, it's more money because you can charge, you know, like 30 per cut instead of 25 per cut. So he has $5. Most people, those $5, but it adds up. So again, this is day seven, motivation, success. Get out there, hustle, grind. Get on Craigslist, go on Thumbtack. Get out there, get them flyers done. If you need me to make you some flyers, I will make them. I'm good at making flyers. Um, That's what I do. I made this flyer, okay, I'm not going to let you see everything, but as you can see, look at that flyer, it's nice, people always say your flyer's so appealing, that's what made me get your car, perfect, I get flyers, I get 5,000 flyers for $100, 5,000 flyers, seriously, you pass out 5,000 flyers, your phone is going to be ringing off the hook, for people that say, oh, you get one in every hundred, it's bull crap, because with these flyers, well, not with these flyers, but with my lawn care flyers, I didn't even pass out half of them. I passed out, like, maybe 1,200, 1,500, because I stack them up in hundreds. So, and out of that, I got 91 customers. So, I'm good to go. Now, if you want to make it happen, you got any questions, you can leave a comment below. You know, um, I don't care about a subscribe. I don't care about a like. Just holler at me. I'm a real person trying to let you know that, hey, I came from the bottom with a 21-inch mower. And if it wasn't for this one lady who actually paid for the whole season, I wouldn't have had a mower at all. Because the mower I had was a used crappy mower. She gave me that check for, I think it was like $375. I went and brought me a new mower that same day. I went and cashed that check, brought a new mower, came back to her house and cut her grass. Boom. It's been on ever since. Invest your money. Save your money. Think wisely. Market, promote, market, promote. This is for the people that want to become rich off of lawn care service. You can do it. It's too many houses, too many people that need lawn care service. And even for those people that have lawn care service, guess what? We got to be gangster about it. We got to come in and it's your wrap. You're done. You're charging 120. Well, I'm charging 90. And I'm going to do a good damn job. People call me complain. Oh, I have my lawn guy for, you know, 15 years and he just cuts my grass too low and I don't know what's going on. Or, oh, he's just not, you know, being consistent. People start screwing up. You got to be in control of your situation and you got to love what you do. You can't. 
be like, oh, I didn't have this person 15 years and, and, you know, now I'm so big, I don't care about them. You always got to care about the little people and you always got to remember where you came from. Day 7, Robinson's Lawn Care, peace.